Hi there, welcome, welcome. Come right on in, friends. This is Home Keepers. I'm Martha Lane Rippey. So glad to be here and glad to know that you are out there. And I, I think every day, hopefully, we have some brand new viewers. And if you're one of those, welcome. Don't let it be your last time to visit us. And uh, we've been on the air a long time and accumulated some wonderful regular, regular visitors. And we hear from you with uh, great regularity, actually, and belief and want you to know that we really do appreciate that with all of our hearts. Got a great program today, and I think one of the real benefits of Christian television, of which there are many, is that we can bring to you ministries that you've never heard of, and there are so many great ones out there, and there are so such a variety, and boy, do we have the variety today. I have the founder of Smile Faith Foundation, uh, Mr. Tom Lane, and this is a wonderful ministry that brings dental care to people who need it. Uh, you think about that for a while, and I am just so thankful for a God of variety that raises up that kind of a ministry, uh, because you know, when you have a real dental problem, you can't smile, or you know, lack of dentistry can even make you very ill. Uh, but these ministries go in and they help people like in Appalachia, Eastern Kentucky, uh, places where the poverty is of such that they could never afford dental insurance or could they afford to go to a dentist. And also, they help our veterans with their dental needs. I, I'm thrilled because I've spent a lot of time in a dentist chair and I'm thankful for those who do that kind of work and I'm thankful now it's been har harnessed for the gospel. So you're going to enjoy meeting Mr. Tom Lane. And I'm going to join Stephanie. We're going to make a hearty six layer salad. This is a dish that could be your whole meal. And you'll see that when I join her. And before I join her there, I want to keep uh, promoting this book, Debt Proof Living, because one of the things I believe about abundant living is to be out of debt, right? And um, I was going through this and it, it, it has uh, some graphs and things to show you how to do a financial statement, which caught my eye because earlier this week we had a day off. And so I was home just puttering around and I sat down and made out a complete financial statement uh, for myself to know what I owe, what I have and all of this. That's a good thing to do. It's a really good thing to do once in a while. And that's all I'll explain for you in this book. Debt Proof Living, it covers everything. I don't know anything you need to know that's not in this book when it comes to finances and debts and so forth. So for that gift to this program of at least $18, and that includes your shipping and handling, uh, we'll get this book out to you. It could be a life changer for sure. And uh, if you write to us, that address is on your screen. It's box 6922 Clearwater, Florida 33758 and debit and credit cards, that kind of thing, 1-800-229-0059. And I'm joining Sister Stephanie over here. She's Hi been there. running all over the country Yes, again. I went to my parents, had a wonderful did time. Did you bring any spaghetti sauce back? Well, of course I did. It's the whole. <laughs> That's the reason it's you not go. the whole reason I go. I didn't say that. <laughs> one of the reasons I go. It's one of the reasons I don't fly. Mm -hmm. I drive, so, so I can, can bring, bring it all it back. back. Yes. Now, does Daddy, her dad makes it. Yes, it's the best so spaghetti sauce in the world. Does he make it ahead of time before you come and it's all ready for Oh, you? yeah, because they eat it all, they eat it while, when I'm not there mm -hmm. somehow. You always have it. So he just freezes whatever's left over. Mm -hmm. You know, he's talking about that uh, debt-free living book. Mm -hmm. uh, and that earlier this week I sat down and you made a I budget. went through every, I went, I knew every penny I'm worth. Yeah. And that is, if anyone. Do you do that? Yeah. Because that's, that's the first thing you have to do. You have to know where you are mm -hmm. to know where you're going. Mm -hmm. If you don't know where you are, you can't go anywhere. Mm -hmm. So, that's so you the do first, the best you can. That's the first thing you need to and do. You know, the Bible has these little phrases in there. Write it down. Yes. You have uh, to know. Okay. So you're making the dressing. You mm -hmm. have mayonnaise, sour cream, onions and Dijon mustard. That's got to taste good. Oh my gosh, yes. This is so easy. I love easy. You know mm -hmm. that? And it's still so hot here that I love a mm -hmm. meal that you don't have to turn the oven off for. The only thing you have to do, you can buy a rotisserie chicken so you don't have to That's cook the chicken. That's what we did. You don't have to heat up the kitchen. And all you have to do is make the pasta. Mm -hmm. So super, super simple. And we're really, uh, we wanted to use this pretty dish, but actually you need a pretty big... You need a big, yeah. You really big I'm not going to be able to use all of the ingredients, so... But uh, when I looked at the ingredients on this, I thought, 
Oh, it just all what smells so fresh. What I would so get fresh. is a hard Chicago roll. Mm. You know, that thick crust on mm -hmm. it and some butter. Yep. And you got it. And this, yeah, because this has chicken in it, it has eggs, it has lettuce, mm. peas. I just licked my finger. Pasta. Uh, okay, this and uh, this green onion yes, goes please. in here. And then just mix that all together. And is this parsley? No, no, no. No. Stop. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> no touchy. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so we got a letter saying how funny it was that um, I forgot the hot dogs. Yeah. It doesn't say anything that Arthlane Rippy set them over to the left, so <laughs> I'm just saying. No. He's trying to blame, blame me for it. Okay, so we have our pretty bowl. You're mixing the dressing, mm -hmm. mayonnaise, sour cream, Dijon, mustard, and onions. Mm -hmm. I'm I want to taste this. Yeah, me too. I got a spoon out so I mm -hmm. can taste it. Ooh. You can use that for a lot of things. Oh, my. Isn't that good? That is delicious. Hey, Ooh, hey it's flicking. worth the dressing. You're flicking dressing all over yourself. <laughs> Am I? Okay. Oh my, I've got a so lettuce, and we're just gonna layer it up. Mm-hmm. Lettuce, and then and I'm gonna get this out of way. Some pasta. Again, you're you're gonna want a much bigger bowl. We're going for pretty here. Mm-hmm. But if you're using the ingredients that it says, then you want um you want a bigger bowl. I think if you um took this to a church dinner, you would be the star. So popular. The star of the. Yes. Okay. So Potluck. this is hard-boiled eggs that are sliced. Yummy. So there's some protein. You have chicken that's protein. Mm -hmm. You have pasta, so you get your carbs. You got peas and lettuce, mm -hmm. so you're getting vegetables. Um, a little bit of salt. Mm -hmm. A little bit of pepper. Yummy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's do some chicken. Mm -hmm. Mmm, rotisserie chicken, seriously. Really if you have is. a Sam's Club in your area and you're mm -hmm. a member, Sam's Club has the biggest, the best big ones, yeah. rotisserie chickens. Okay. And then we're going to put some peas. And then you do the whole thing over again, right? No, it's just one layer. Oh, it's one layer. Yep. Okay. Because it's six. And this uh, is six. It, is a, it is a big recipe. We've yes. scaled it down a little bit because of the size of the bowl. Okay, now we're going to put some dressing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm telling oh, you, that dressing is outstanding. Goodness. It really, really is delicious. Do you kind of wiggle it down through there a little bit? Yeah, you no, know, you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make it and let it sit for a it's little It's supposed while. to chill for, you want to make this ahead of time. Let it chill. Way. And then we're going to Yeah, because cheese. when you take a spoonful out of that, that dressing's going to, it's going to distribute. Right, right. Yeah. Cheese, let's do all the cheese. Mm -hmm. Cheese is good. Oh, it's gorgeous. And then parsley, because it's pretty. Mm-hmm. Look how lovely that uh -huh. is. Look at that. Yes. That we taste is it? beautiful. Yes. Okay, remember it's supposed to sit for a while. Yes. Let uh -huh. all the flavors marry. Uh-huh. Yeah, I want to taste a little bit with that egg. Mmm. Is that so delicious? This is my lunch. <gasps> yeah. Uh -huh. So mm. yummy. So while Arthlene is stuffing her face, no. <laughs> You can have this recipe. Uh -huh. <laughs> Tell them. Oh. Tell them everything. <laughs> the information will be up on the screen. Mm -hmm. It's free. You can email. If you don't email, if you don't use the computer, you can write to us. We're happy to send something, a recipe back to you. Just send a self-addressed stamped envelope if you could because it costs money and we're trying to keep our, our you know, finances <laughs> down. So the information's on the screen and Arthlene's going to go I'm going to go talk to Tom Lane. So If you would like a copy of today's recipe, just write to the address on your screen, or you can email your request to artheline at rippy.org. It's my privilege to welcome to the program Mr. Tom Lane. So glad to have you, and thank you for the dog tags. This, um, these say "Smiles for Veterans." Yes. I was really impressed when I noticed that that is a part of the ministry, because if a lot of our veterans come back, and sometimes they're jobless, and um, they need some special services. There's nothing like fixing someone's teeth so that they can really smile, is there? That's, no, that's huge. It is huge. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, 
that doesn't seem to be one of those major medical issues. Mm -hmm. And we sensed that and began to look at how we could provide for veterans. So that's why our new how clinic. Did, how did that idea occur to you? Do you remember? Well, it was, uh, just a couple of years ago, we had this office in, uh, in Port Ritchie, uh, Florida, and we had all this room available. So we decided, why don't we create a clinic just for veterans? So we began to build out, and it's about 70% completed now, but we're going to need funds to complete it and also to uh, put chairs and other items that are needed to mm -hmm. take care of the veterans when they come. And uh, as far as we know, this will be the only clinic for veterans in the country. Uh, we've checked everywhere and we can't find another. Yeah, and we don't hear a lot of really good stories coming out of the VA, which no. is supposed to help our veterans. I think <clears throat> we'll get your website up there right away. I want you to begin to write this down uh, because uh, it's not only veterans. It's uh, really for yes. poverty-stricken yes. uh, people who need some dental care. I. Um, I think it's so wonderful when you find out these things are part of the body of Christ, part of the kingdom. Uh, our God really tends to the details, doesn't he? Yes, he does. Mm -hmm. Yes, he does. And he, we follow his model because he came to earth and then he went about uh, healing because mm -hmm. people came to him for the healing. And then he told them about the kingdom. Mm -hmm. So we have a need or meeting a need and people come to us and we touch that pain and then we do have prayer with them and we tell them about the oh, kingdom. About the kingdom. And uh, we do have people who come to know the Lord at each event that we have. Uh, <clears throat> I do hope that people will uh, go to the website. You can learn so much there. But it's charitable dental care and life coaching. Yes. Um, in what way does that work? What kind of need do you find? Uh, I, I've had life coaches on before. I think we kind of understand that. Mm -hmm. But what is it that presents itself to you that says this person needs a life coach? Well, when they come, we, of course, interview them and try to find their need and then go about meeting that. But then we sense there's more need there mm -hmm. because they've gotten off track. They've lost their way. We have veterans who come who say they can't get very much help at the Veterans Center, they usually give them drugs. And so we sit down with them and we uh, invite them to tell their story. And it's amazing how their lives began to evolve and how they tell us what has happened and then we can give them uh, some help. Dr. Michael O'Carroll is our director. He's been a counselor for about 20 years mm -hmm. and he handles the matter, this matter with veterans very well. He teaches them uh, through the course that, uh, and the counseling and of course we teach other people to, uh, to do life coach counseling, the ministers and others in the mm -hmm. community because they want to know how they can be a good listener and help people who have great need. So we do maybe that. <clears throat> maybe that need for dental care is a signal yes. that there's something a lot deeper going on here. It's a neglect is what it is. And they have a lot of pain mm -hmm. and they don't know where to turn because about 95% of, of veterans do not have access. Only if you're totally disabled do you have access to dental care through the VA. Mm -hmm. And that's usually a, something that's uh, down the road because they keep putting you off. And um, <clears throat> as time progresses, it gets worse and worse. Yes. And they can have very serious dental problems by the time they come to you. Yes. Now, you also treat people in eastern Kentucky and Appalachia. Are those some of the poorest places in the United States? Unfortunately, it is. Mm -hmm. uh, the coal mining has closed down and people don't want to move and leave their home. So they have to travel great distances for jobs and some of them just don't uh, have a job and 50% of the people in the county we're working in are on welfare. Ooh. And uh, many, you know, they have bad teeth and haven't taken care of them and they need dentures. And people don't, it costs about $3,200 for a set of dentures up there. And we have dentists that go up and commit to helping them. And so we actually end up giving it to them free, free dentures because we have a means whereby we can get the dentures and then the dentists give free service to prepare them for the dentures. And these people, you know, they've been without teeth for probably 10 years. Some mothers are so excited because the, the child has never seen her. She'd always couple your, you know, her yeah. mouth when she yeah. spoke. 
So she was uh, embarrassed, and uh, so it's always such a rewarding experience. So we tell people that we can do this covering all the expenses we have for an average of about $200 for a set of dentures. Wow. And uh, that way they can uh, come to us. And we have about 400 that's on the waiting list now. They call in and find out, want to know when the next clinic is going to be held. So we have these names, we're accumulating, and then we find dentists who will go up and just do dentures. And on an average, um, uh, Friday and Saturday, a dentist will go up and he can uh, measure uh, probably 40 to 50 people and then he comes back a month later and seats those teeth. Happiest people you have ever seen in your life. They so, we have this, yeah. some of this on the website, but it's amazing to see these people change. It's life changing. It is, it is. Now, it's the exciting. dentists, uh, they volunteer their time? Yes. that's God the, bless oh, them. Oh, they love yeah. the Lord. And, and they're so excited because they come to us uh, because we try to have prayer with people and we tell them about the, our Savior. Mm -hmm. And you, sometimes they go on these mission trips and they just do kind things, you know, like help people get their teeth or mm -hmm. get them repaired, but they don't tell the people about the Lord. Mm -hmm. Our big thing is that's major. We, we want them to come to us because they have a need. We touch that need and then we talk about how wonderful it is to smile inside as well as outside. And, and like I said, we've had hundreds to come to Christ in this simple little ministry that's just, and we have a bus that goes around to yeah, the community. It, uh, it's a, a <clears throat> dental bus, and you can see that on the website, mm -hmm. but um, it's a fully equipped. Fully equipped, top of the line uh, medical equipment in there. Dentists love it. You know, they usually have to work out of the back of a truck or something. They love our bus because it's, it's top of the line. We got the best chairs, the best, uh, uh, and, and we can do x-rays right inside the bus, uh, and we can do everything that's needed. And uh, so they, they come. We have people who volunteer to come and be a receptionist, and we take pictures of people before and after. We have need of other people helping. Hygienists come. It's just a great great wonderful experience to see these people's lives affected. I, I can just only imagine now is there an educational component uh, we were talking before the show mm -hmm. you said some of them give their kids Mountain Dew yeah, they, that'll rot your teeth. NBC did an article uh, about two or three years ago on that area, and they were finding kids that were, you know, they were crying, and they would get, fill up their bottle with Mountain Dew, and, and they have such a problem with uh, teeth up there, mm -hmm. and they have no money to pay it, so they just suffer. And, uh, and I, I, you know, we feel so sorry for them, and we're so appreciative of our dentists who sign up to go up and we we set it up we have a mission house there where they can come and bring their family if they like and we take the bus out to like a primary a school or a church and then the dentist goes there we have a van there we'll transport the people who his assistants who might come uh, we really take care of our dentists because we want them to come back and they do they said well i'll come back next year yeah and they god bless them that is oh i love so... these dentists um, and also that educational wing, you know, you can, <laughs> I've always say, get them saved and then educate them. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> you can be stupid <laughs> one way or another. But um, it, I think it's so important. I know we have a girl uh, who used to be our floor director here, and mm -hmm. she's a missionary in Kenya now. And she, boy, I'm just so proud of her. She's established a little school there and mm -hmm. uh, we get pictures of it and all these little children in their little uniforms and they're learning to read they're learning about Jesus well they can change the nation but they you're can't. not going to do it unless you're educated no you're not no. And, and, and it's just so much of a need out there and 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 we as Americans who enjoy so much mm -hmm. and we not only should take care of our community we should take care of our veterans and that's yeah. that is so primary in what we do and that's why we invite people to you know to check into our website if they make a donation. They could donate, yeah. Twenty dollars, we send them a dog tag. They can proudly wear it. Mm -hmm. It says "Smiles for Veterans," mm -hmm. and people can uh, just feel so good about they're part of something bigger than what they are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you just tuned in, I'm talking to Mr. Tom Lane, who is the founder of Smile Faith Foundation, and we've had the website up for a while. I wish you would just take advantage of that. 
Uh, here we have a dog tag he gave me. I thank you very much. Mm -hmm. And it smiles for veterans. Right. And also, um, they tell them about Jesus. They go into the poorest parts of our of our nation. And mm -hmm. you know, I, I I've got eight great grandchildren now, so I'm not young. <laughs> but I've always heard of Appalachia and how it's poor. Why can't <laughs> Why can't the United States of America do something about that? I mean, we are great and powerful. Yeah. And, and to have something like that just flounder decade after decade after decade. It, it is disappointing sometimes, but they're very clannish. If you're not born there, you know, you're not accepted all that well. Mm -hmm. And we are because we go in and we love them in this way and they love us mm -hmm. back. Mm -hmm. And so we've, we've established a good, strong ministry there. Mm -hmm. And we're excited about the future because there's, there's, we want another bus. In fact, we're going to also try to get, uh, have, uh, create a bus scenario here in Florida so we can go around to some of the poor areas in Florida. And because we have about 30 dentists now that signed on and we, want, we keep adding dentists and we just keep expanding because uh, the bus seems to be the most mobile way to take mm -hmm. the, the center, the dental clinic to the community and then dentists come in. It's just such a great marriage. Can you think of a really wonderful success story? I know you've got a lot mm. of them, but uh, does anyone stand out in your own mind that just their life was just so turned around, um, maybe to get their teeth fixed so they could smile again? Yes. And, and, and to meet the Lord. We've just recently had that to happen. Uh, the, 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 the person could not get any dental care and he came to our bus <clears throat> and he got the care and he was so thankful. And his wife wrote us a letter, said, You're not, you don't realize how it's changed his life. Just a simple little thing like dental. Mm -hmm. We don't realize how that impacts because the first thing you look at is the smile. That's exactly right. And, and when you change that, the confidence is there, the excitement about mm -hmm being free of this pain and also free of this embarrassment because mm -hmm. it is an embarrassment, mm -hmm. not only for their family, but for f going to church or anywhere, working. You can't, sometimes I, we had a, a person come to us who was a waitress and she's, her teeth was horrible. And she said, I can't get a job. They won't yeah. hire me. Yeah. And we helped her get her dentures and then she goes and she can get employed. So it is. And then people who neglect their teeth, it can really, you can, it can kill you because that infection goes into the system. Mm -hmm. And people die every uh, you know, year from, from dental, uh, well, non-dental care. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they just... Uh, well, it's truly the work of the Lord. And as I said at the top of the show, what a, a privilege to let the audience know uh, that our God is so detailed, He's going to raise somebody up to help with this area. Uh, when mm -hmm. you were talking about the person, th their life was so changed. Those of us who are fortunate that we can go to the dentist yes. when we need to. Mm -hmm. But otherwise, the, the word that came to me when you were talking about that was crippling. Mm -hmm. wow. It cripples You're, them. It, is, it does. <clears throat> and they, they just, they don't know what to do. They go to the dentist, they find out th the cost is going to be like five or ten thousand. Thousand, yeah. And, and they come to us and we have a way in which we put insurance on them free and then we send them to the dentist and if where it was 10,000 we can get it done for 2,000 because of our an HMO program we mm -hmm. tie into and then we help them along the way and those are people who we call the makeovers. They need a m full makeover mm -hmm. and we help them. You have to be nominated because we want somebody to be, help us be responsible. Mm -hmm. You can do it anonymously yeah. or otherwise, yeah. but yeah. it can really change lives. Well, it's a wonderful ministry and I'm so thankful that <clears throat> I met you and we were able to, uh, to tell our viewers about it. Uh, and it really kind of reminds us of uh, how good we do have it. Yeah, live, mm -hmm. Just living in America, if you're middle class or even a little lower, you got a lot, lot to thank the Lord for. Um, hey, you stay with me. I have a couple things to say before we have to say goodbye. Arthelene would like you to keep the following information handy. You may contact Homekeepers by writing to Homekeepers, P.O. Box 6922, Clearwater, Florida, 33758, or go to www.rippy.org. 
Remember, we always enjoy hearing from our viewers, and we thank you for your support. Okay, let me again remind you of Debt Proof Living. We have a few more copies left. Very important book. I think it could be helpful to you. So the information is on your screen if you would like to order it. You know, Ephesians 5.15 states, Be careful how you walk, not as the unwise, but as the wise, making the most of your time because the days are evil. Don't you love the way metaphors are used throughout the scripture? Jesus spoke in terms that would always be easily understood, even centuries from now. He spoke of soil, planting, reaping, birds, and seed. Even with ever-increasing technology, those words will always be understood. And when reading about Jesus, it's obvious that he walked everywhere. We see glimpses of him in a boat or even once on a donkey, but for most of his travels, he walked. And of course, we continue walking today. The Apostle Paul wrote, be careful how you walk. Or I would describe, be careful how you do life. Watch how you spend your time. How appropriate to look at this verse when thousands of people are walking, even into danger, following an evil-looking character named Pokemon. You know, I believe there are only two ways where people are completely equal. We are equal when we come to the cross. Everyone needs a savior and Jesus will turn no one away. And we are also equal in time. Absolutely everyone on this earth is granted 24 hours in each day. Our president and all the great and powerful have only 24 hours, just like those who are down and out. The scripture tells us the reason to be diligent concerning our walk and our time it's because the days are evil. It's sad but true. Our nation is becoming more and more evil each day. The corruption in our nation's capital is no longer hidden. It's out there for all to see. Crime-ridden neighborhoods are now just another story in the daily news cycle. And sexual immorality has lost its shock value. However, nothing can stop the child of God from living a holy righteous and obedient life. Don't forget your children and grandchildren who are growing up surrounded by an evil culture are watching how you walk and how you spend your time. Think about it. And remember, there's no higher calling than that of a homekeeper. God bless you. If you should miss a homekeeper's program, you can catch up by going to www.ctnonline.com. Click on CTN Programs and then on Homekeepers.